risk of infection. Risk of infection related to the patient, things like diabetes, if they're a smoker, the likelihood that they're going to heal that wound is a lot lower, right? The ability for them to heal and close that wound is significantly lower than somebody that is healthy and is a non-smoker and somebody that's not immunocompromised. From that aspect, number one, patient selection was a huge thing that we had to do. Number two, we always checked an A1C before. Exactly. Yeah, we always had to do that. We always assessed person's smoking status, nicotine status, all that stuff, and then counseled them on smoking cessation if that was the case. All right, so what about patients on chronic steroids or chemotherapy? Mm -hmm. Is that a potential problem for post-op infections? Absolutely. Someone on steroids has a diminished immune capacity to take care of a foreign intervention into their body, whether it's the surgery itself or the instrumentation and metal objects that are placed in there as well. Somebody so addressing surgical side infections starts even before the surgery. 100%. Making sure that the patient is essentially optimized as best as they can possibly be to undergo the surgery. Hemoglobin A1C is huge for us. We don't have a lot of steroids. Take patients that are on steroids, nor a lot of patients on chemotherapy. So I would say by far, at least in my practice, the hemoglobin A1C is the number one thing that affects surgical decision-making.